Hello, Maurice Dimba is my name. Welcome to this presentation. Today I'm going to briefly show you how to model a very simple and small car park shed. Let's kick off here by rectifying this default grid. We will feed in our dimensions. We have y axis and x axis here. We'll start off with x axis. We'll feed our dimensions here uh, 3 meters. And uh, 3 by 1750. And adjust these heights to what we require, starting from 0, 0 level. Let's modify that to 3800 as our first height. Our second height would prefer 4500. Our very final height will be 5 meters. Our labels on x axis uh, will add E. E there, a capital E, not a small E. On y axis, the numericals will leave at 1 to 3. We'll change these heights from 0 level to 38, similar to this. Let's change that to 38, 38, not that, add 5 here, 45, and 5 meters. We are done. Before you click modify, make sure everything is right. I'll go ahead and click modify, I'll accept that. Close that. Now, straight from here, we are going to create views. Right click uh, along the grid. Create. I'll pick one. I'll come to A. I'll come to E. Perfect. I'll click OK. I'll, cl I'll, cl I'll click OK there. Then uh, I'll go to elevation E, which is this one. Start off right away by placing our first column. Come to steel, come to column, click it there. Double click on this to change the profile size and height. We'll use RHS. That is a hollow section. It's down here. We'll use 260. The 260 by 6 millimeter thick. We'll apply that. Modify that. Modify that. Double click. We've modified. Come to position. Bring this to zero level. Bring this to our uh, last height, 5 meters. Apply that. Switch back to isometric view, rotate or change the orientation of this column by double clicking, come to position, come to rotation, give it a back orientation, perfect. From here, we'll go back to our elevation E or grid E. We'll place our first canopy. From here, right from there to that end. Switch back to your isometric view. Double click on this to change the profile of that member. Under attributes in beam properties, click select. We prefer hollow section, RHS. We'll run down here. We'll pick 140. If 140 is not there, we'll pick 120. 120 by 60 by 6, 6 millimeter thick. Apply and accept. Apply that and accept. Switch back to grid A or grid E. 
this is what we want switch back again on on a, we want to rotate this we want to rotate this model we'll come to view come to rotate rotate with mouse rotate it about that spot and press your left button on the mouse we want a position where we can see this joint clearly for us to place our joint we prefer we will prefer a weld joint stanchion stanchion weld which is number 85 we'll just type 85 85 stanchion weld is here now we want to join this member and this member click on the main member and that we'll create a joint there a weld joint now next is to reinforce this we'll go to steel we'll come to steel beam snap right here right in the middle of that member and run straight away to the bottom end of this member the size of this member and this member is same we want to change this to be a bit smaller double click on it the beam properties will appear come to attributes under attributes come to profile adjacent or adjacent profile click that select box this will appear uh, on this dialog box uh, we'll be presented with the uh, with the material properties and the material profiles and the size and whatever then under this we'll select the appropriate size of our preference i prefer the 60 60 by 40 uh, by 40 by 6 millimeter thick apply and accept that come here and do the same apply and accept but we want to connect this by weld no bolt connection because it is a hollow hollow section accessing the the inside of this will be uh, another assignment that will not be able to achieve now we will come to stanchion weld click that and click that welded properly we'll come to this end click this and click this properly welded now next thing is to place the cup plate come here and type cup cup click that cup click on top of this beam and click right there cup has been created now even these holes or the whole the hollow section we want to block this for in case just to block it for for purposes of corrosion reduction in case water accumulates inside we'll need to block this we block that so we block that so that we block the entry of water inside so we know normally when water gets inside might accumulate and create corrosion inside because we will be unable to to create or to paint anti anti rust paint inside we will we will be only be able to make it on the exterior part now we close that which is very important we come down here to base plates just come here and type base plate under applications and component type base plate simple base plate that is a simple bit base plate base plate that is 3110 that's 1031 that's a simple base plate. Just click on the beam, click down there, right click, and we're done. Don't need to edit anything there. Click on the screen, left click on the screen, right, right click again and redraw. Now what we're going to do is to just copy everything here. Right click, click copy. Pick it from that spot and just do like that, copy. Snap on, on all the on these columns left click on the green screen and redraw now the next thing we are going to do is to reorient our axis because we want to place these these palings but they're not actually the the, the palings because the roofing will be play uh, will place a glass a translucent glass on top of on top of this 
so there's no need of placing a, 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 a galvanized and a galvanized sheet here we'll come here straight and uh, before we do that we do that we come to view we come to work plane we reorient our work plane tool to, to take the slope of this canopy right click to to interrupt to disable that command now we'll come to steel we'll come to steel come to steel beam click right at the corner here right there run to do the same and uh, and snap run and snap on the same same spot on the other end perfect double click on this member because you want to reduce we want to change the size of this steel member click there you can bring this to 50 probably the smallest we come to 50 by 30 by 5 make it the, uh, 5 millimeter thickness be a bit stronger and uh, modify that apply and accept we want to give it an offset of the edge of this canopy uh, right from the edge of this member this member double click on it come to position on the position give it a left offset give it a right offset right from there just apply right click again and come to move you want to move from here an offset from here just place your cursor but don't click snap on that spot and type 100 perfect now right click come to copy snap snap from the at uh, this end place it there just do the same to the rest apply right click on the left click on the screen and right click and redraw that the next thing we're going to do is to copy this along the canopy click this click that click that right click come to special copy linear we need 800 for this click copy apply perfect you are done next thing is to reinforce these five columns what I'm going to do is to come to steel beam click that snap right there and snap the middle of the next column snap there but you, you see our column or our member still taking the slope of our canopy because our axis is still in the same same spot we will delete that and change the orientation of our axis we'll come to view come to work plane and take back our axis back to the world position world coordinate now we'll come to steel come to steel beam click that snap here snap right on the edge and in the middle of that column double click on this member to bring this beam properties dialog box under this come to attributes under attributes on profile adjacent to it click select this will bring this dialog box and we want to, want to change the size of our hollow section now we'll select a bit bigger size of hollow section we'll pick 200 200 by 6 millimeter thick apply that accept that double click on this we want to bring it or shift it to the middle come to position highlight that to middle modify and accept that now still not enough we want to move this down slightly click, click right there snap down here and type 1100 enter that perfect now just click on that right click copy 
snap on this end on this end and, and place it there just continue like that you are done next is to place our pad footing click come to concrete come to footing click pad footing right on the bottom there expand double click on this change this to 800 800 by 800 by 800 perfect double click this still want to modify something here bring this to 800 apply that we'll come to column still column click column there snap in the middle of this column right there double click on this column and uh, come to position change this height to zero apply that come to attribute but uh, come to attribute change this to 500 500 and apply that not 500 bring this to 400 and change this to 500 apply that perfect you're good to go now highlight everything there right click copy from this spot to that spot to that spot to the next spot to the next spot you're done right click and redraw close this come to view navigate rotate with mouse turn this round perfect remember i told you the roof or uh, the covering on top here will be glass translucent is simple and uh, enough for four cars one two three four thank you my name is Armoris Dimba welcome and uh, welcome to this channel and uh, I'll be grateful if you make some comments and uh, and thanks a lot for watching this this channel thank you let's meet on the next presentation Bye.